hello friends <coughs> the next concept is make or buy decision so the management usually take many decisions based on managerial costing and make or buy decision is also one of the important concept that we need to understand so make or buy decision generally means so the company usually have the opportunity to purchase any one particular product from outsider or it can produce the same product by itself so by considering the cost of producing and by considering the cost of purchasing the management is going to con you know, take a decision so whether to produce the product or whether to purchase the product from outsider okay here we are going to solve a problem for make or buy decision so in this problem uh, the problem is related to a bicy bicycle manufacturing company uh, this is bicycle manufacturing company wherein uh, the cost per unit of part number 845 is as follows so this particular part is produced manufactured by the company itself and cost related to this particular product are given here and at the same time another firm then outside firm is actually offering to supply the same part for rupees 6 quality and regular supplies are guaranteed so the same part is offered by outsider so for the rupees uh, rupees 6 and regular supply and quality are actually guaranteed by that particular company and the present consumption the present production and consumption is 50,000 units sorry this is 50,000 units per annum okay here we need to take a decision to purchase the goods or to make the goods on our own okay do you recommend the recommend that the production be stopped and the part be purchased the first question is to purchase or or to produce the product and the second question so if the situation is different like so if we stop producing and if you want to purchase the product from outsider and for the same capacity for which that particular product is produced for the same resources men and plant required for making part number 845 so the same plant the same resource is used to produce another defense item uh, which is offered uh, which is actually the offer is given by the government to purchase the product for rupees 4.25 per unit and the government itself is actually promising to supply the materials for that particular product so in that case what will be our decision so based on these two different situations we are going to analyze the situation to make the product or buy the product so in the first situation uh, there is no information regarding any uh, other usage of the plant and men used for producing part number 845 for that reason there is no opportunity cost here okay so it is assumed that that the facility available for part number 845 cannot be put to alternative use that means the opportunity cost is zero in the first situation so based on the details given in the problem the cost per unit of part number 845 is calculated as below okay so the variable cost for that particular product the fixed cost and the total cost are recorded here material variable cost there is no fixed cost here and total labor variable and fixed cost are recorded expenses labor variable and fixed cost are recorded so total variable cost is 5 rupees 50 paise per unit fixed cost is 2 rupees per unit and the total cost for one particular product one unit of the product is 7 rupees 50 paise so as the fixed cost here so whatever we have calculated 
the fixed cost uh, uh, comes up to rupees uh, 1 lakh for annually annually okay so this particular fixed cost is assumed to be constant and irrelevant for the decision that means so if you are going to produce the product or if you are not going to produce the product that particular fixed cost that means this particular fixed cost is going to be incurred at any cost that means if you are going to produce or if you are going to buy the product from outsider still the company is need to pay this particular amount so this particular cost is irrelevant for decision making so on the basis of the information so variable cost on the basis of variable cost and the price quoted by the outsider that is 6 rupees so based on these two information itself we can consider come to the conclusion that uh, the said product is uh, better to be manufactured internally so if we are going to manufacture this particular product it is going to be more economical if we are going to manufacture a product so it will be 5 rupees 50 paise or if you going to purchase the same product it will be 6 rupees so it is more economical to produce the product internally and and so this particular based on these two information itself we can create an uh, following cost statement so to you know to get the complete information about the product okay now the comparative cost statement is prepared here so to produce the product and to purchase the product what will be the comparative cost statement that we are going to see so in the problem itself they have given the manufacturing cost that is variable cost only i am considering here as i told you earlier fixed cost is ir- you know irrelevant for decision making so material for manufacturing labor expenses this information for 50000 units are recorded here and purchasing price for 6 rupees per unit for 50000 units so that is also recorded here so the total cost of production is 2 lakh 75000 and total cost of purchasing is 3 lakh rupees so there is a saving in favor of production saving of rupees 25000 so therefore we can say it is both economical and profitable to continue producing part number 845 so in the second case if we purchase the goods if we purchase uh the plant purchase okay sorry for the disturbance so if the part number 845 uh is actually purchased from outsider and the same resources used for part number 845 is used to produce defense item in that case what will be the situation that we are going to see see if the man and plant used for part number 845 can be used to produce a defense item it is necessary to recognize another item of cost so in this particular situation there is one more cost that we should consider that cost is opportunity cost okay so the calculation of opportunity cost so are presented below so <coughs> the labor cost for uh, producing the defense item is 1 rupees 50 paise and other expenses is 1 rupees okay here material cost is not considered because the material is provided by the government itself the total cost incurred by the company is 2 rupees 50 paise for the item okay and here the government is actually offering rupees 4 rupees 55 by 25 paise for each item so the contribution for each individual product would come up to 1 rupees 75 paise that means if we convert this unit contribution to total number of units so total number of units 50000 units so the total contribution come up to rupees 
87,500. So this is total contribution. So this contribution is opportunity cost for the given situation. The calculation of the calculation to produce and or to purchase part number 845 in this particular situation are given below considering the opportunity cost. Okay. Now, so this is comparative cost statement for 50,000 product. So production cost or purchase cost as calculated earlier. So in the previous page, the calculation is given. So that is to produce the product, it is going to cost us 2,75,000. To purchase, it is going to cost us 3 lakh. And there is an opportunity cost, so which is going to be 87,500. So total cost is going to be 3,62,500 and 3 lakh. So in this situation itself, we can conclude. That means to produce the product, there is a uh, saving in favor of purchase. So if you are going to purchase, we can save 62,500. So even if you are going to consider the fixed cost, that is 1 lakh in both the cases, the total amount, the total cost amount is going to be 4,62,500 and 4 lakh. So here also we can see there is a difference of 62,500 which is in favor of purchases, right? So if you are going to purchase the pro product and uh, make the uh, defense item for the government, you can save up to rupees 62,500. So in this particular situation, we can conclude if the man and plant used for part number 845 used to produce a defense item, it is better to do so as the purchasing of part number 845 decision saves 62,500 for the company. Okay. In the second situation, it is better to purchase the product uh, part number 845 and make that idle uh, resources to produce a defense item which is going to give some additional benefit for the company. Thank you.